smile. I'm okay, Mom. <laughs> well, don't... No, you don't look it. Now, here I am. I'm ready to sacrifice myself by having pizza with you. I will play with the Plinko chips on the... Uh, whatever it is, price the is price is right. right. I'll take you to a movie. I'll do anything so that you are not sad and depressed. Oh. Honey, darling, you're not... You're not upset about me and Craig? No, no, I, I understand about that, I do. Well, you said you understood, but I don't know sometimes what people understand. Well, I worry about both of you, especially Craig, because I know he loves Sierra and he hates seeing her with Tonio. Sierra is married to Tonio, and they are trying to make a good marriage. Now, Craig will have to accept that. It's hard to change the way you feel about somebody, especially when you know you should. My darling, people do it when they have to. The sooner that Craig can forget about Sierra, the better that'll be for all of us. Are you all right? Did you and Tony have a fight? No. No, I'm okay. I am. Um... You don't sound it. What's wrong? I don't know if she hung up on me. Craig, stay out of here. Look, it. I can't, Mama. She was crying on the phone and she tried to help me tonight. Antonio didn't like that. I told you the way he was treating her when they left. If you go over there, you're going to make things worse. I got to find out. Now, Craig, stop it now. Just call her, all right? come at a bad time uh no no it's not that it would be a big mistake he happens to be married to my daughter i thought perhaps i could kill two birds with one stone see the dress that you're finishing for sierra and have that drink that we missed a few weeks ago should i come another time no no, as long as you're here, I don't see any reason why we should wait any longer for that nightcap. As the world turns, this portion brought to you today by Puritan Oil. More than cholesterol-free, Puritan is low in saturated fats. And by Dawn, the dishwashing liquid that takes grease out of your way. Randy? Whatever you're having. You draw very well, Barbara. Oh, those are just some sketches I'm working on. They're not quite finished yet. I just kind of sketch whenever something comes to me. I'm working on those for my Spring 87 line. I can see a great deal of work goes into these. Oh, you don't succeed in fashion without working hard. It's a veritable sea of piranha. You seem to be an excellent swimmer. I've survived. Well, we finally get to have our drink. Unfortunately, Sierra's dress is not here. It's at the shop. But I do have the sketch that I worked from. Would you like to see it? Yes, I'd like to. Well, it's, it's here somewhere. Why don't you just make yourself at home?
And Cinda tells me you've made quite a splash over at Walsh Enterprises. She's been singing your praises high and low. Well, I work hard, just as you do. Lucinda often works very long hours. Do you work late at night? Occasionally, but one must get away from work sometimes. Don't you think? Yes. But it's not always easy. No, but still, it can be done. I think a man needs to know that there is some place and some person to whom he can go to to forget his problems of the day. Perhaps a woman needs this too. Well, here's your sketch. Mama, you are wonderful. Oh, thank you. Uh, where's Hal? Oh, he's powdering his nest. We're going to split. <laughs> Did you know that Tom stopped by earlier and when he saw the two of you, he walked out? Yes, I saw him. Oh, Margo, why don't you call him? Oh, Mama. Come on, he needs you now so much. I don't know how he's going to hold on with this divorce hanging over his head. All the problems with Kim's defense, the jury selection is tomorrow. I think the world of him, and I respect him now more than ever. I don't know how he does it. Mama, I respect him, too. If I didn't, it wouldn't hurt so much, okay? Enough. Oh, uh -huh. Lila, you were terrific tonight. Thank terrific. you so much, Al. Where's Craig? Uh, he went over to see Sierra. He called here Quine, so he went over there. He went over there? I tried to stop him. He's very much like his sister. Very stubborn, pig-headed, and he won't listen to his mother's good advice. Sierra, just calm down. Tell me what happened. We went to Mona Lisa's. Antonio and I and Craig was there. And Craig got in a fight with Tad Channing outside the restaurant. Tad Channing? Why? Well, he, he wouldn't say. But anyway, Craig got hurt, and I went to help him. Antonio got furious. And we got home, we got in a fight, and he left. I thought maybe he would have called Steve. No, oh, no he, he's probably just cooling off somewhere. <laughs> Betsy, could, could I stay there tonight? I don't know when Tony will be back. I don't want to be here when he is. I, I can't take any more of this. Okay, just, just hold on a minute. Sierra and Tony have had a bad fight, and she's really upset, and she wants to spend the night. Is that okay with you? Uh, okay, uh, but if Tony calls, we're going to have to tell him that she's here. Yeah, okay. Okay, Sierra, that's fine, that's fine. Do you want me to come get you? No, no, I'll take a cab. I, I want to leave now. Okay. Thanks, Pat. Tony, I, I can't stay here tonight after what happened. Your jealousy frightens me. I've told you I'm not your possession. And I don't want you touching me in anger like you did tonight. I'll be back tomorrow after my glasses and we'll talk back. I'll be staying with Betsy. You all right? 